What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the Western Peas channel. So if you haven't subscribed before we even start the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So basically today we're gonna be testing out the new bike that I went and picked up. I actually had to go to Boone, North Carolina to pick this bike up. It was the one bike that they had in this color that I wanted. It's like a color shift. It goes from green to purple. And then like if there's no sun, it'll go back to like a, it looks like a dark gray or black. It is the craziest looking color. I had to travel down to Boone. They were the closest shop that I could find that had this bike still in stock. Right now with all this quarantine and COVID-19, whatever, literally kayaks, bikes, most outdoor stuff is on a limited supply or a limited stock just because everybody wants to get outside. It's pretty much all you can do is be outside. So I called seven different bike shops just to see before I found the one in Boone if they had this bike and they didn't boone was the closest place that i could find it's about a two hour drive for me so i drove down there picked up the bike and oh my gosh this thing is crazy so basically i wanted a bike that would be good for riding on the road riding on the new river trail and riding off-road some over at crystal springs because it is not far from my house and that is where i grew up riding mountain bikes all the time so it's one of those places where it's like a lot of rock, but there's also some hard pack stuff. So it's not too crazy terrain, but there is some trails that do get a little bit rowdy. They also put in a new terrain park over there. We're going to go do that later on in this video. And we're basically just going to throw the GoPro on and I'm going to take you along for a little ride. I took it on the New River Trail this morning. That was the first time that I've had it out. I don't really like the seat too much. I may have to figure out a different seat situation for that because it kind of hurts. But when you're mountain biking, you're not sitting down too much. So it's not that big of a deal to me. We'll go ahead and take it over to Crystal Springs. We'll strap the GoPro pro on and we'll see how this bike does so today we're going to be testing out my new bike these are some trails at a local place that's literally right near my house so it's super convenient i've rode these trails for good grief i don't even know how long ever since i first started riding a mountain bike they opened this place up and they started doing mountain bike trails and i've came over here for as long as i can remember this goes down into some new parts there's a terrain park that they had just put in so we're going to get to go try that out on this new bike which i'm really actually kind of scared to because i haven't jumped a bike or done anything crazy on a mountain bike in a while but it should be pretty entertaining for you guys so if i crash it'll be cool if i land some cool stuff it'll still be cool so it'll be an all-around cool video <laughs> we'll get started on this first trail right here it'll lead down into the terrain park then we'll hit some little jumps. There's this big wall ride that we can do made out of wood. There's like a little step down with wood and all sorts of little balance beam stuff. So I guess we're gonna start out on this and have some fun, see what we can get into on this new bike. So let's get started. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. I haven't went this fast on a mountain bike in a while, but we're going for it today. <laughs> oh, there's a rock. Got a little wall ride oh come up around that got to pedal some most of these trails aren't all the way downhill so you got to do a little bit of pedaling jump oh <laughs> here we go step down right through this curve oh here we go little jump there got some rocks coming up oh, 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 oh. that's a really rough section right there holy crap okay this being a hard tail i can definitely i gotta chill hold on I can definitely tell this is a hard tail. I'm getting jolted around everywhere. This is one of the rougher paths in this place. So you get jumped around and the whole back end of the bike's moving around. The front end's doing great. It's staying in line and I can control it. It's just the back end. You really gotta squeeze with your legs or it starts getting sketchy. But here we go down into the terrain park. This should be interesting. I haven't hit any of these jumps yet. I'm out of breath. All right, there's all these little signs that I can see up there. It's saying like, like that's a double black diamond, whatever that means. I don't know what any of these signs mean. So this should be interesting. I've scoped it out a little bit, but I have not rode a bike on it yet. So this is gonna be the first time for me and for you guys to see this. I think the first show we're gonna go down is this one right here. It's got a little step down, like a board ramp that goes out. We're gonna jump that, then go down into this bottom and just mess around for a little bit. Let's hit this little jump right here and try not to die. Oh my gosh, oh, I almost died. Oh crap, all right, we're doing a redo on that. I almost died. That was a close one, folks. Woo, that one got my knees shaking. As soon as I went off, okay, this seat post on this bike, all right, 
Look at this. The seat post on this bike is about as low as it can go. So when I jumped, my freaking right butt cheek hit the seat. It made the whole bike turn like this, so I landed sideways. Oh, that one got my knees shaking. We need to trim this down. We need to trim the seat post down pronto. That was sketchy. Let's try this a couple more times. Let's get comfortable with it, but that was scary. Let's not hit my butt on it. Oh my gosh. All right, let's jump this again. That one's better. That one felt good. Oh, she dipped down right there. Oh, sheesh, dude. That was sketchy. All right, we got some little balance beam stuff. We'll go across this. This is pretty cool. Hit that, come up on this. Oh, that's pretty sweet. I like that. So we're finally at the top now. We got a waterfall coming. Well, not really a waterfall, but a fresh spring or whatever this is coming right off the mountain. Super pretty up here. I'm basically in this valley. I came all the way up this valley. I'm close to the top of the mountain right now. This is pretty much the fun part of the trail. There's jumps, there's like tight berms and everything. So I feel like this would be pretty cool to get on film. I have not seen how this looks on the GoPro, so hopefully it's gonna look cool to you guys. But this is gonna be the first real test on the Trek Marlin 7, going downhill, kind of hitting rougher stuff, a little bit of jumps, some sharp turns and all sorts of stuff like that down through here. So it's gonna be a real test for this bike. I mainly got this bike to stay in shape, to ride it up on public land when I'm hunting. When you can't ride like a motorized vehicle in, you just have to walk. You can also take a bike. Most places on public ground, you can take a bike in. So that's another reason why I got this bike. This is gonna be the test for you, Trek. Hopefully you hold up. Let's get it. Whew, we got some rock section right through here. We got a tight turn. Now we're gonna come up here. This isn't really fast through here. This is kind of pedaling. But once we get going down this, it's pretty much just sharp turn. Sharp turns and jumps. Oh God! <laughs> oh, that was so close to the tree. God, grief. We gotta jump right here. Oh! We got our first turn. Okay, that didn't take that turn that good. All right, we got some pedaling. We're gonna come down this. We got another jump right here. <laughs> Lift the front up, pump. Come down through here. We got another turn. The 29 inch is kind of hard to get turned in these things, so you kind of just turn and stop. But everything else is feeling good. All right, another kind of sharp turn. I got a pedal again. And now we're pretty much down at the bottom, but we're gonna take this turn. We'll go out this way. All right, here we go. Roots. Ooh, I slid out. Hey, there's the other trail. All right, we're gonna take that trail instead. So, holy crap, that'll give me some time to catch my breath. Oh, the only thing I don't like about this bike is it doesn't, I mean, it corners pretty good, but on tight stuff, it is not the best. Other than that, I like it, I like it a lot. The tires, I'm probably gonna switch the tires up. These are like the factory stock tires that come with these bikes. They do good. It's like an all-terrain kind of tire, but it needs some more grip, but it does all right. Oh Lord, help me catch my breath. I don't even know if this trail is fast or not. I'll just keep it recording for the rest of the time because this is the trail we're gonna take to head out. Cause it's kind of like a leisurely cruise kind of trail. But what I was gonna say is another thing a lot of these mountain bikes don't have is very comfortable seats. So I went ahead and upgraded my seat to a WTB mountain bike seat. It's the Volt version. So that should be here. Not, probably, I don't know when that's coming in. I think that's gonna be in in like a week. So I may film a video just putting that on, doing a little review on how good it does. Here we go, we're picking up a little bit of speed. Oh, this is kinda cool. Shake a likey. That was kinda sketchy. That was kind of sketchy too. Where does this go? 
I think that just loops all the way back in. I don't know. We go this way. All right, I come up. We got a little bit of water. For a hardtail bike, this really does not do that bad. I'm pretty impressed. It's doing everything that I need it to. Come around that sharp curve, that turn, the berm, whatever you want to call it. Ooh, that's that's really wet. We're gonna slow through this part. But yeah, I'm I'm very impressed. I like this thing. I've never had a truck before. It's my first. I'm in the truck family. This is my first truck I've ever had. I like it. I would have went with a full suspension bike, but it just didn't fit the price range that I was looking for. So I saved about a grand on this bike by not getting the dual suspension bike. And it still does. Oh gosh, we're getting soaked. Oh God, I'm soaking wet now. This does everything I need it to. So I'm happy. It's got the rock shocks in the front, lock in and lock out. And there's a little sharp turn. Getting bugs in my mouth. Oh, that was muddy. Pretty much ends that little ride. That wasn't bad. I've never done that trail. That was my first time riding that trail. I'll definitely get faster as I go. And this is still a pretty new bike to me. Still getting used to it. And I'm pretty soaking wet now. I got dirt all over me. But all in all, I'm, I'm very impressed with this. I like it. I like it a lot. We're gonna get on out of here so we can get to filming <sighs> my camping video. Okay. Hey One more jump. Hit this little rock right here. Hey. <laughs> oh, that was wet in the bottom. Jeez Louise, I might as well jump in the creek right now. <laughs> Shoo wee, I'm wet. I'm soaking wet. Yeah, that whole bottom. Oh, that's a swamp. Well, there's like one trail and a half of another. If you guys enjoy seeing this mountain bike content, I will definitely do more. I will be more prepared next time. If I was gonna rate this bike from like a beginner, it's a very experienced mountain biker. It's right there in the middle, like an entry level mountain bike. So as long as I'm not doing anything crazy stupid on this bike, I think it's gonna last a long time. And I'm pretty pumped to ride this, especially during deer season riding back into the mountains. It's a really comfortable ride and I dig it. I freaking dig it. One thing that I definitely forgot about mountain biking, so it wears you out, it wears you plumb out. So if you wanna see more content like this of the mountain biking, I'm definitely gonna be riding that bike a lot this summer, just staying in shape and then just to have some fun on down at Crystal. And we have the dual sport bike, so stay tuned for those videos. We have a ton of stuff about to come out to this channel. And right now, I'm actually headed back to the house now to get started on the next video, which is coming out this coming Sunday. It's gonna be a camping video, so y'all stay tuned for that. That's what I'm filming tonight. We're pumping these videos out and I'm having a blast doing it. So as long as you guys are enjoying it, make sure to subscribe, like the video, hit the little notification bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos. And we'll see you guys this coming Sunday. Don't go anywhere. Adios.